Okay, we're back on this. Uh, I don't know, I'm really conscious, and this is honestly true. I'm really conscious that you're all sick of seeing this every time you come to the blog, but when I'm focused on something, it is all I'm working on, and it's a challenge to show you something different every day. Because really, each separate piece of this is a continuation of the last. So there's a lot of repeat going on with patterning and stitch and, and etc. and technique and things. So I thought maybe I'd just like show you where I'm at again. I know I did this last week, but I didn't give you a video of the loops, for example. So this is that piece I was talking about, well, I showed you last week, where I used the loops on the seams. You see there, and then I used one over here. I was actually a little disappointed with this one. I kind of wanted it to be more dramatic than that, but I think I cut the loop too long. So I ended up having to double it over and things. So, I mean, it's okay, it's acceptable. I'm not going to remove it from there. But it didn't quite work out as I'd planned. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. It just isn't how I envisage it, it would be. So that's that piece that's got the loops on. And I do love these, but I do have to make more. And these, I was going to make another strip of this last night. And I thought, you know, it would take me possibly three hours to create an eight inch strip. I've got a strip over here that's made, ready to be done. So if I was to do maybe that, so you're talking three hours just to do that. And what am I going to show you today? That would be pathetic, wouldn't it, to just have that? But, you know, so that's my dilemma because obviously I love creating, I love sewing, I love embroidery, I love making all this stuff. Um, and I'm doing it because I love it but in the back of my mind is always my blog and what I'm going to show on there and that isn't my overriding priority but it's a concern you know because it's part of what I do as well um, I'm just looking at that I just noticed on that just seeing it now there's some kind of flaw in that that doesn't matter it's vintage it's just I had never seen that before I don't know if you can see it's like a as if the um, somebody's rubbed the cloth with sandpaper in a previous life but it doesn't matter and anyway it's under there so yeah so that's my dilemma really is boring you with the same stuff over and over again but you haven't seen this actually in a video with these and i do love those loops and i've really got to do some more and on this one i also put cut work this is the only one that's got cut work on it so far. I haven't been, I've been tending towards a plique really. Um, but I might put more cut work on, on another piece because it is quite effective. And this is that sample piece that I showed you the other day. It's been cut to bits now because I've cut bits out. I embroidered this and damp stretched it. And then I've cut bits out of it for a plique. So, you know, and that they'll cut bits out of that to go behind the cut work as well but like that's almost half gone already and I've only had about three appliques out of that so I need to make some more of that as well so there's the one with the loops there's the strip from yesterday that I showed you yesterday with the patchwork hexagons on I don't know if I'll do any more of them um, but yeah then there's this piece it's probably the first piece I did I think that still needs to be joined. I'm not joining anymore yet because I'm not really at that stage. The only reason I joined these was because I had the loops and I wanted to use the loops. I was impatient. And then yesterday I put this one together. This is the latest one. It's not damn stretched. And last night, the only progress I've made on this so far is I've put a little bit of lace up there. Okay, and that's just caught down with little tiny stabbing stitches on both sides. That was to cover a frayed edge. There's buttonhole lace on that edge and on this edge down here. And then on this edge, I've just put French knots in the ruffles to hold it down. And then I've just done individual cross stitch motifs along here. And then I've got a little bit of a plique. Oops, thread over there. A little bit of a plique there. Uh, I'll try and pull in perhaps. Right, yeah, a little bit of a plique that was cut from that sample piece, that sampler piece, with a couple of uh, bits of wrapping going on to that seam, and then just tiny little dots of flowers with French knots and lazy daisy stitch. So that's how far I am with that. So that's it really. It was just a video to explain to you the angst I suffer when I'm considering what I'm going to show you on my blog because even though every evening sometimes I get to stitch through the day depending on how busy I am on the computer and stuff but every evening I stitch from around 6.30pm till 
11.30pm, sometimes midnight, you know. So that's what I do and that's what I do within the time I get to do it. So that took me from 6.30pm till, I think I went to bed early last night. That took me like 6.30pm till about 11 o'clock because I went to bed early, I was tired. Um, so yeah, those seams, that little bit of titivation and putting this little bit of lace on there with the stabbing stitches to hold it in place. So that was it really, I just wanted to do that and show you that and so you know I'm not slacking. Um, you know, I am working hard trying to get these in the camera line so you can see. So yeah, so please don't, I, please I hope I'm not boring you, I really do hope I'm not boring you. But I can't start something new every day, um, I run out of ideas, no imagination.